Hello and welcome guys and welcome to today's vlog. And yes, today's vlog is going to be serious. It's going to be lengthy. Because today's vlog is concerning you and me. It is concerning the entire CMA fraternity. Doesn't matter whether you are a CMA student or you are a qualified CMA or you are a semi-qualified CMA or if you are a faculty member like me who teaches exclusively to CMA students doesn't matter if you are if you are in touch or if you are related to CMA fraternity in any manner this video is going to be very very critical for you so guys I've been following this for past one year now one year back the Ministry of Corporate Affairs had constituted a committee to review the usefulness of cost accounting records and cost audit. The moment this committee was constructed by the Ministry of Corporate Affairs, I had some skeptical thoughts in my mind. Like, why such a committee has been drafted? What is the use of, you know, analyzing the usefulness of um, or improving the usefulness of cost accounting records. Why? What is the purpose behind um, uh, constituting this committee? So for past one year, I was struggling in my mind with these thoughts that why is this committee constructed? Is there a doubt in minds of the stakeholders or the ministry itself or anyone else uh, regarding the utility or usefulness of cost accounting records and cost audit? Do we need to prove the relevance of cost accounting records. These were the questions which were coming into my mind soon as I heard this was last year uh, that uh, something like this, some some uh, committee has been constituted. So these thoughts were constantly striking my mind. But till the time the report was out, I had nothing to say about it or you know, uh, I had no concrete um, uh, evidence or answers to my questions. But today, I have answers to all my questions. Yes, the report of the committee which has been constituted by the Ministry of Corporate Affairs to so-called improve the utility of cost audit report, improve the usefulness of cost audit report is out in public and there are certain serious propositions, recommendations by the committee. They are not applicable as of now because they have been open to public comments but yes, you make expect that you know by next year by 2025 maybe this report will come into existence maybe in the same form or some minor modified form <clears throat> there's a possibility that some major changes also happen in this particular report so guys this is a preliminary discussion please don't take it as a final outcome of this report because whatever is going to be um, you know notified in law that will be the final law that will prevail this particular report is just a snapshot of what ministry thinks what instead of cost accountants of India thinks what uh, the, these chambers like ASOCHAM, uh, PhD, FICCI all those things, uh, all those chambers think about the cost accounting records and cost audits. So this is a snapshot of of um, uh, the thoughts that people have, the society has, or the economy, the country as a whole has about cost accounting records and cost audit um, reports, which are the monopoly of CMAs. So guys, um, all the three institutes, instead of Chartered Accountants of India, instead of Company Secretaries of India, and instead of Cost Accountants of India, have been given specific roles. Uh, statutory auditors are assigned to the instead of Chartered Accountants of India. Uh, secretarial audit is assigned to the uh, CS Institute. And of course, our institute is, is um, given the onerous responsibility of um, the uh, cost audit report. So our domain or our specialization, our exclusivity, is the cost audit report and cost accounting records. That is the domain where we as CMAs work in. And today we are going to see some rampant changes, some rampant comments, some adverse comments about our profession as a whole. So yes, that's why I'm saying that this video is going to be important for you. Be it, uh, uh, for a, be, be it a student or be it a person who's qualified CMA, 
either you are working um, uh, you know in in an industry or uh, you are having your own practice or you are a faculty member who is teaching cma students or in any way any way you are connected with the cma profession this uh, report is really going to be pivotal for you this is a 376 page report i have spent many many hours reading this report culling out the critical points out of it yes the institute of cost accountants of india has also um, prepared a synopsis of this particular report which is very very useful very very insightful so you can download this synopsis also uh, i will share a link of this 376 pager report um, uh, to you below this um, uh, video itself i will also be sharing the link to this synopsis to all of you which has been prepared by the institute of cost accountants of india uh, with a minor modification guys uh, the first statement should have word covered before the products otherwise the uh, uh, statement um, uh, may be interpreted in different ways so please add covered before products while reading this synopsis and of course if you uh, have time and you should have time because it's your profession if you have time read through the 376 page or report um snapshots are not as lengthy as 376 pages they are shorter so you can read through this particular uh, report i have actually read through um, almost almost the entire report and i have highlighted the important portions of it and this particular video i'm going to discuss the prime um, uh, the prime contents of this particular report and how does it impact you as a student because as a student you would definitely expect a brighter future for you once you qualify cma if you already have cma then of course you need um, a value addition in terms of uh, responsibilities roles which are assigned to a cma from the ministry so this video is concerning all of you so please stick on to this video till the very last both synopsis and the report has been added in the um uh, description box below the link is given in the description box now coming on to the content of the report guys i have called out primarily these points from this entire report these points are most important point doesn't mean that rest points are not important i'm not saying that please these are the most important points which according to me are really important doesn't mean the rest of the points are irrelevant or they don't hold any relevance they are of course relevant uh, but i cannot uh, cover all the points in one video i need uh, some deliberations i need some more time to uh, you know cover all those points but i have called out the most important points which are coming out of this particular report number 1 the rules rules means the company's accounts and audit rules 2010 14 which have been amended um uh, wide various amendments till 2019 so there have been amendments in the rules um uh, the the name of the rules is companies cost records uh, and audit rules 2010 14 amended till 2019 there have been various amendments in the rules so rules to be applicable to entities other than companies also this is a very welcome change it's really interesting how the ministry has um uh, divulged into the various aspects of the entity uh, specification in terms of rules so the ministry says that all the rules are currently applicable only to companies because these are relevant to companies act um, 2013 um but these rules are relevant for the other entities as well like cooperative societies like any other form of business that is being done and uh, you know same products are being um, manufactured by a cooperative society and a company for company the rules are applicable cooperative society rules are not applicable this is not fair so beautiful comment by the ministry that the rules should be applicable to entities other than companies also if you are a cm intermediate student guys group 2 i have taught you the rules in detail in your audit subject if you are a cm final student then group 4 cost audit is all about these points point number 2 single list of applicable products or services instead of table a and b so as you are aware that the applicable products and services um are divided into two parts table a and table b table a is the regulated sector covering six industries table b is the unregulated sector covering 33 industries the ministry has specifically observed that there is no utility of um uh, you know bifurcating the products into table a and table b plus many of the chambers have highlighted that even table b which is the unregulated sector has some uh, industries which are um, uh, which are actually regulated so there is an irony there is a lacuna in table a and table b bifurcation therefore this bifurcation has been done away with there will be one list uh, containing all the applicable products and services and that will be subject to cost audit or cost records if the monetary threshold is met that is the propositions yes there are 
some additions or some deletions from the list some more products have been added to cost records applicability and cost audit uh, applicability the single list some products have been added some products have been deleted um, uh, that is not much that is not major so i'm not covering the products in this particular video otherwise it will be a lengthy video so yes um, uh, if you want to see the products it, they are given in the report itself some products have been reduced some products have been added uh, in the category of uh, table a and table b all right third and most important most concerning point i am actually very concerned regarding this point monetary threshold for applicability of cost records and cost audit has been amended to three times this is a matter of concern for me at least as a cma it's a matter of worry for me i'll explain you okay so the existing limit of applicability of cost audit is that it has been split into table a and table b for table a which is the regulated category the monetary threshold limit is overall turnover of the company is 50 crores or more and aggregate turnover of products covered under rule 3 is 25 crores or more so in the existing rules both total turnover of the company and the aggregate turnover of um, uh, specified products is seen similarly in table b category b um, uh, products overall turnover of the company should be 100 crores or more total uh, turnover aggregate turnover of the products covered under rule 3 is 35 crores or more so specifically please focus on 25 crores and 35 crores these were the earlier turnover limits now the overall turnover limit has been eliminated or proposed to be eliminated by the ministry ministry says it is irrelevant what is the overall turnover of the company you are not going to see what is the overall turnover of the company doesn't matter what is the overall turnover of the company what we are going to see is only the turnover of the covered products the single list of products which are um, applicable which are covered under uh, the cost accounts and cost uh, audit purview we are just going to see that single uh, list of products so we are going to see the single list of products which are covered under table a or oh, there is no table a table b which is covered under under the um, list so this overall turnover of the company is to be eliminated there is no overall turnover of the company this overall turnover has been eliminated now the revised threshold is that aggregate turnover of the covered products is rupees 75 crores in any of the three preceding financial years so yes the earlier turnover of 25 crores and 35 crores has been enhanced to 75 crores sir why are you so concerned about it why is this a matter of worry for us guys higher turnover threshold limit means lesser number of companies which are getting covered under cost records and cost audit lesser number of companies on which the cost records and cost audit is covered which means lesser scope of cost accountants in future as far as practice is concerned and this is a worrisome point for me i think this is a point which all of us the entire cmf fraternity should actually focus on and should actually um, uh, recommend lowering of this monetary threshold you cannot have this monetary threshold as high as 75 crores so cost audit will be applicable or cost records will be applicable on you only if the covered products are having a turnover of 75 crores or more in any of the three preceding financial years earlier it was 25 crores or 35 crores it has been increased up to three times in the current proposed rules i don't think this is justifiable in any manner yes the ministry in their wisdom have given a calculation of how have they arrived at 75 crores taking um, uh, the growth percentages on indices of past many many years but um, having such a high threshold will mean that most of the companies who are producing critical goods critical services they will be um, uh, you know excluded from the purview of cost audit and cost records guys what is the point point is that we need a mechanism a cost control and cost reduction and cost supervision mechanism for the companies which are producing critical products critical services we want a mechanism for it so you know 25 crores 35 crores was the monetary threshold limit which was still um, justifiable but a monetary threshold limit of 75 crores is too huge according to me 
the justification is that we want a cost control mechanism at least for major players of the market and if you put your threshold as 75 crores then the major player of markets um, are not captured it's only the biggies you know 100 crores turnover 80 crores turnover the biggies who are covered in cost records then um, you know the medium the, uh, the medium sized companies will be excluded from purview of cost audit and cost records and that is the matter of concern for me so yes the proposed limit is aggregate turnover of the covered product should be 75 crores or more in any of the three preceding financial years. The existing limit was 25 crores and 35 crores. The overall turnover limit has been eliminated altogether. So this is one of the major changes that has been proposed by the report. Next, rotation of cost auditor or the other um, uh, you know other procedural aspects like appointment of cost auditor um, uh, and all other things have been prescribed similar to uh, what has been prescribed for the statutory auditors guys earlier um, we used to take this stand that rotation of cost auditor the principle of rotation was uh, not applicable on cost auditor although in in all fairness the cost auditor should also follow principle of uh, rotation but now the ministry has proposed that concept of rotation should be applicable to cost auditors as well inter alia uh, the other provisions which are applicable to statutory auditor should also be um, uh, you know applicable to the cost auditors the procedural aspects right that is a major change that has been recommended in the report then cost accounting standards to be reviewed by the ministry this is a major step which ministry um, has proposed that the cost accounting standards based on which the cost accounting records are to be prepared by uh, the companies whose goods are covered those are to be reviewed or those should be reviewed by the uh, ministry also to effectively um, you know incorporate some changes in them if required uh, now one very important provision uh, of our earlier rules was that um, once the cost or cost accounting records and cost audit uh, rules are applicable to a company once it will be applicable forever even if the monetary threshold is reduced below the uh, threshold the turnover is reduced be below the threshold even then cost audit and cost accounts will be applicable forever this was a practice or a rule which was followed earlier but now this rule has not been propounded by the ministry all the ministry has silently dealt with this issue they have not expressly denied it but by introducing this concept of um, uh, having a three year time period for seeing the monetary threshold According to me, the ministry has silently um, uh, eliminated eliminated this rule that once cost audit or cost account records are applicable, they'll be applicable forever. They have eliminated it um, by saying that you have to see the threshold in past three years. If in three previous years, if in any one of the three previous years, cost records and cost audit is um, uh, the, the products uh, for which the, um, uh, the coverage is there in the rules, uh, if the turnover exceeds 75 crores in any of the three preceding years, then the cost right and cost accounts will be applicable in the current year as well so silently ministry has done away with this principle that forever applicability of rules if they are applicable once silently they have i think this is my opinion and i may be wrong guys if you think after reading the report that you know any of my points merit consideration reconsideration or i have interpreted it wrongly i am very open to discuss the matter with all of you Please comment in the comment section below and I'm very open to discuss any of the matters related to this report with you because yes, it is a matter of concern for us. It is a matter for future for us. It is the area where we are working and if it will be hampered, our interests will be hampered. <coughs> All right. And finally, 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 <sighs> Fiki, one of the premier one of the most pioneer um, associations of uh, commerce and industry um, they have made some comments in the report uh, while they submit while they've submitted their uh, comments to the uh, review committee they have made some comments which are uh, which have hurt me really let me come on to the comments first okay
all right so these are the comments which have been put forth by the federation of indian chambers of commerce and industry it's a pioneer organization which um uh, deals with any industry related issues so their comments read as under given the competitiveness in various sectors given the competitiveness in various sectors excessive pricing is not possible so they're saying that since market is competitive so no one can charge extra for their products companies maintain cost records voluntarily as they are required to continuously analyze cost and revenue data for managing cost in order to retain and enhance competitiveness in face of competition from competing firms and competing substitute so two points which the fiki which which the federation says is that one um uh, it is not possible to overprice however i beg to differ from this point because um cases where there's a monopoly or a monopolistic kind of a um a setup overpricing is definitely um a trend and wherever wherever there's a cartel overpricing is definitely a concern so overpricing is not possible and companies are itself voluntarily keeping cost records and hence mandatory cost audit should therefore not be applicable as reporting of cost statement could lead to competitive disadvantage in such industries i beg to differ from this point because competitive disadvantage can not be construed by reporting cost audit or cost statements why because cost audit report is a secret document it is always reported to the ministry of corporate affairs and to no one else it is not a publicly available document it is not circulated publicly to general public so competitive advantage is absolutely not compromised when cost audit is published that report is published or cost statements are published not compromised the federation continues to say that it was suggested that where there is no administered price or subsidies the cost audit requirements should be waived off so according to the federation cost audit is only relevant where the prices are administered or subsidized there is no relevance of cost statements elsewhere statutory orders now they come on to the statutory orders who typically are chartered accountants statutory orders already provide assurance on the financial and system of the organization and hence valuation of inventory segment margins other relevant information is already ordered and available the statutory orders also comment on maintenance of books of accounts adding an additional requirement of mandatory cost audit would lead to duplication of effort and increase in costs which in which is in contrary to the objective of improving ease of doing business in india additionally such practice does not exist exist in most developed markets either so these are the comments of one of the apex bodies of the country which is federation of indian chambers of commerce and industry um, uh, people might have different views about it my views are very clear that there are some fundamental uh, shortcomings in the comments which they have made and the way they have disregarded the relevance of cost audit and cost accounting records in today's competitive scenario the way they have disregarded the importance of this particular field which is um, cost accounting and cost auditing to me it doesn't sound uh, 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 a very effective uh, comment or a, a very effective uh, way of doing things and specifically statutory and cost audit uh, statutory audit and cost audit are two different phenomena are two different streams altogether statutory auditors cannot replace cost auditors cost auditors cannot replace statutory auditors because their area of work is absolutely different there is absolutely no duplication of effort there is absolutely no duplication of work between statutory auditors and cost auditors that is my view on this entire um scenario so you might think that it's an emotional outburst it's a sentimental thing you might think that maybe because of my expressions but no a practical view a practical thought if i give a practical thought to it then yes um uh, this is not correct according to me this is not correct so i am really surprised that yes the apex body of the country one of the very premier bodies federation of indian chambers of commerce and indip and industry fiki um uh, you know things like this their view 
is um, uh, this and their thought process is this um, uh, to me it is astonishing because um, uh, the the industry is benefited out of cost accounting records industry is benefited out of cost audit government of india is benefited out of cost audit um, uh, government of india is uh, really having um, uh, you know uh, uh, a very useful uh, uh, stream which is cost audit branch and is giving valuable data to government of india and everything is um, uh, really falling in place in terms of cost when cost audit and cost accounting records are there under such a scenario giving such comments is is um, little off to me so yes these were the comments which are given by fiki about cost accounting records and cost audit and this was my last point so yes guys i thought i should make a video like this um, for all of you so that you are aware uh if you are a cms student um then you know don't just get confused now you'll see so what what should we do with this uh, video and with this report if you are cms student then you need not um uh, really um uh, bother about it just for your knowledge just for information watch the video just have these things in your mind and just start studying no it will not impact your upcoming attempt of examination this will not uh, change your upcoming rules this will not change your um, uh, textbook this will not change um, uh, whatever i have taught you in the class uh, in in audit subject in intermediate final it will not change anything because this is not law as yet it is still in the draft phase it is still in the discussion phase so forget about it uh, nothing to bother about if you are a qualified cma then guys i would urge you to sensitize all the cmas who have not read through this report as of now to sensitize everyone to uh, read through the report and give your useful comments to the ministry in any manner whatsoever so i am very well aware many of my students work in big psus who are cmas my ex students who are cmas you work in big psus you form a cartel you form a um, uh, you know or, or you approach your nearest chapter Uh, draft a reply to this um, uh, to to this uh, review report and uh, involve me if you want and let's write to the ministry of corporate affairs about certain points which are discerning certain points which need merit uh, you know sensitize everyone about it because as qualified cmas you will be authorized to or you will be the right person to comment on the comments which are there in the report and yes please read through at least the synopsis of the report 376 pages uh, is difficult to read but the two pages which has been provided by the institute of cost accountants of india they are very easy to read similarly guys in the synopsis as well in the in the report as well there is an exact summary if you don't have time then you can at least read the exact summary um, uh, of the report that will give you a fair idea of what is there in the report and then you can um, uh, read the relevant parts of the report wherever you think um, uh, you need to dwell delve delve into deep dive into so this is the exact summary you can just read the exact summary if you don't have time to read the entire 376 page or uh, report exact summary is very very important and let me tell you chapter number 6 yes this one is very very important for you my recommendation read the exact summary and chapter number 6 these two things you must read as a cma as a qualified cma as a practicing cma and then let's see what the future has entailed for us uh the monetary threshold definitely is a big shock to me that needs to be curtailed at any cost by the ministry uh, because it is huge um the provisions of um uh, you know rotation of orders is still uh, a welcome change the provision of uh, elimination of table a table b distinguishing factor is a very welcome change um uh, the the uh, the aspect of applicability of cost accounting records to uh, non companies is a very welcome change but there are certain points which needs merit and we need to really um think about them so yes it is just an initial video i think we need to delve into it i need we need to really research into it these are just my initial thoughts these are nothing concrete um these are my initial thoughts which i just want to share with all of you guys let's research upon it and i am also on to it i'm not um uh, till now covered the entire 376 pages in its entirety um i'll be doing it in the near future you also do it in the near future please contact me if you find some um things which are discerning and let's Uh, work around it because it's really important because our future depends on this uh, amendments which can be carried out in law in the near future all right so on that note 
uh, I think this video has extended a little bit uh, longer because it deserved that kind of attention guys um, so I thought I should make it as elaborate as possible so um, uh, with that thought that you know something uh, really changes in these some things which we want at least changes in this report and the final outcome the final blueprint comes out to be really uh, you know the, the, uh, the, the, the blueprint should be absolutely perfect which represents the true facts and which represents the true um, uh, necessity of cost right and cost right, cost records uh, with that hope with that positivity in mind um, uh, we'll see you in the next video hopefully I'll be making a lot of videos uh, regarding this aspect until uh, that time all the very best and Happy studying!